So today we have my dear friend, Christina Zilber. Hello. Hello. <laughs> she is the owner and creative director and founder of Jouet, which is the most amazing line of makeup that you've probably ever even heard of, and we're going to learn so much more about it. And one of the reasons that Christine is here with me today is because, as you know, every month we have a different theme. We are on the road to redefining glamour, and this month our theme is Feel Playful. And so Jouet actually means to play in French. Christina, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, I am so excited for you guys to get to know her better because I know Christina really well. And everything about her, you can see she's beautiful on the outside. She's the epitome of glamour. But really the best things about Christina are what's on the inside. And so, so talk to me a little bit about um, how the whole concept of Jouet happened. How come you got into makeup? And yeah. what started the whole situation? What's the story? So the story that there's so many threads of the story mm -hmm. because um, you know it kind of started with we we talked a little bit about this about with my mom and her love of makeup, her love of beauty. She was a model, and I used to sit at her you know at her vanity mm -hmm. and just be like obsessed with the magical potions that were there. And then I did a little bit of modeling and a little bit of acting. And when I did that, like in my you know many decades ago, when I did that. I would go to the makeup trailer and that was my absolute favorite place to be. Like the makeup trailer is where magic happens. Like you come in looking like sallow and really tired and whatever and like, you know, just a few minutes later they're they're turning you into like beautiful. Like what is that what is that magic? A lot of times you'll hear people who are in your industry say similar things to that, but yeah. I know Christina really well. Yeah. She lives for makeup. I mean, Dude. she does. Like, when we well, <laughs> we have an annual trip to New York, and she fixes everyone's makeup. One of the taglines of Jouer has always been, no makeup artist required, just because I want women to be empowered to feel like they can do their own makeup. It's really, like, simple, beautiful, and, like, glam. Like, getting your glam on without having to, like, worry so much and do 8,000 things to get there. I love how you say that makeup should make you look like an extra glamorous version of yourself. Yes. That's my philosophy. Like, right. I just don't think we should be like covering ourselves, masking ourselves. It's fun if you want to transform yourself as a fun thing to do, but like it should really be about like bringing out your own personal beauty. If you have freckles, like go for the freckles, like live, live your best life. Right. You know, which is so aligned with what we believe at yeah. my company because we're all about denim. Yeah. And it's all about denim that actually makes you look and feel better. Yeah. And so I'm just I feel gonna, like, like sidetrack for a moment. I am yeah. wearing your denim right now and I feel better. <laughs> By the way, I I am wearing your makeup right now, <laughs> and I feel better. So it's kind of interesting. Our philosophies are aligned. So, yeah. Well, by not that she needs to look I better, would, but check this out. I'm honestly, just a little proud of my like, friend here. I like no, but seriously, these are like so comfortable. They've got a little bit of stretch in them, which is the way to go. They're like they they're just perfect. Like they hug the body. They're comfortable. Like I mean, look great. I'm in. Yeah. Um, okay. So backing up. Yes. So, so Christina grew up in San Francisco. Yes. Your dad was um, like a fancy guy in the he, entertainment he was, business. He of? was, I mean, I, that's so funny He's to call him a fancy guy because he was actually the guy that always wore like khakis and sneakers. He was like not fancy, but he was in the movie theater world. Like he okay. owned movie theaters. And yeah. then your mom was a beautiful she was a 60s beautiful model. era model. Yes, exactly. So when you had, I, I, just, I imagine you guys sitting around your dinner table every night with everyone glamorous. Looking glamorous. Yeah. Makeup. Gorgeous. That's so funny. My mother, I mean, you know, it's funny. She didn't own a pair of jeans until she was probably in her 60s. Like, that, she was not the generation of wearing jeans. Right. And she did wear makeup every single day. She wore a pencil skirt and heels, mm -hmm. if you can imagine. I mean, can you imagine living every day like that? Like, I want to live like that. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up the kids from school and being like a little silk blouse and a pencil skirt. Like, she just always had herself pulled together. You grew up with your mom teaching I did. You. And then... Then I learned from makeup. Then I would like go to makeup trailers mm -hmm. and be like, what are you using? Why are you using it? Like, what do I do about this? And what do you think about this color? And I just like always loved that transformative effect of makeup. Up so there. then I was on set and a makeup artist um, was like, oh, here are the colors I used on you. And she pushed them into like a little Japanese palette. If you know, they're, they're like little like... Um, palettes that are empty that you can smush inside your own stuff and she made me this thing and I was like 
this is kind of genius. Like I want this, but I want to be able to like put my colors in there. And what if I want to change that color? Like, why is that? That's all stuck in there. And then I would go out and buy palettes at the store and all the palettes were like, there's a purple eyeshadow I would never use. But then I want to use this like pink gloss like all the time, but then that's all empty and I have to buy a whole new palette. So I had this palette idea of like, being able to like interchange your makeup. So it was really a packaging idea that I lived with for like five years before I ended up doing something about it. And so how did you come up with the name Jouet? Yeah, so Jouet is, there's a couple of reasons. One is I found the name before I understood why it was right for the brand. Mm -hmm. I tried to find a name. You know how hard it is to find a name? Uh, yeah. So hard. So I got stuck in Hollywood for 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked, it worked. But, um, it's really hard to trademark to find like everything's, you know, taken. everything's taken and so I, I was trying to find a name and I was married at the time to a French man mm -hmm. and he and I had this room in my pool house I have all these letters and words I had like words on the towels and word on the wall and the word on the wall was jouet which means to play and I looked at it and I'm like to play like that kind of makes sense like I want to be able to play with makeup and, and feel confident I would you know I want this line to be something women can confidently play with not be intimidated it just made sense Sense. Right. So I like looked, I did a search and it was like free and clear, of course, because nobody can pronounce it. And like, why would you name your brand? <laughs> but how perfect for yeah. our theme this month, yeah. which is to feel playful. Yes. And so yeah. when I, sometimes when I think about playing with makeup, I think of like really heavy makeup and like all right. sorts of drama. And I know that a lot of yeah. these amazing women that yeah. use your makeup yeah. can do that. Yeah. But you, your own aesthetic and really the one yeah. that you teach is more um, elegant and sort yes. of understated. Yeah. How do you play with makeup when you're doing it in a more elegant way? Like what, what do you find playful? Right. I think that um, I, everything I do is a translation of what like the creatives, like whether it's like the runway or like influencers like on YouTube are doing. They exaggerate because that is a creative style. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily a daytime style or even a going out style. I mean, I feel like right now I'm wearing a little bit more makeup just because we're doing yeah. this. But um, but I think it's all about like getting inspired and doing like one or two things that they're showing as opposed to the whole thing. situation. You know, if yeah. you're gonna do liquid eyeliner, like rock the liquid eyeliner for sure. But maybe don't also if you're gonna like go pick up the kids, like wear false lashes and throw extra contour. If um, you're watching and you want to like see pictures of Christina's mom and find yes. out little tutorials, is to go to your Instagram. You're really oh. good with your Instagram. It's CZ CZ Jouet. CZ Jouet. CZ Jouet. That's my personal Instagram. I, I should. It's actually my dad's birthday today. So happy birthday, Dad! Oh, happy he birthday! He passed away like 18 years ago. So, but it's a special day. We always eat cupcakes on my dad's birthday. We're talking about playing with makeup. Yeah. How how else do you play in your life? Like, how do you bring play? Because when you think of play, you think of children almost. Like, yeah, you are one of the most playful people I know. You're so sweet. Like, you're always laughing. You always have a smile yeah. on your face. I think face. playfulness is an attitude. I think that um, I like to have fun with whoever I'm with. It's not always easy to stay positive, but appreciating the moment and having fun and having levity. When I was raising my kids, and they're 17 and 15 yeah. now, a little bit older, but I just wanted them to come into the house and feel like this is a fun place. Like we get this is a happy place. This, this is, is a, a happy playful, place. Totally. playful place. Exactly where we can just yes. have a good time. It's our safe, safe place, and that we laugh. Christina is extremely involved in UNICEF, which is a charity for children. Every yeah. year, as, as I mentioned, we go to this event in New York, and there's videos of these beautiful children, yeah. and they're smiling, I and know. they're they're Amazing. playing, and they're happy. That's Even in one. spite of the fact that they don't have much. That's right. So tell us a little bit about what you think creates playfulness in That's, these children with so little. They're so grateful for the moment. Like, it's so strange. Like, our kids, I think, get wrapped up a lot in, you know, what they have or what their friends have or social media. Like, these kids have nothing. They don't have anything. They're happy. Like, they will literally craft a soccer ball out of, like, rags and, like, wrap it up and wrap it up, and that will be their soccer ball. Like... They appreciate everything so much and they love interacting with humans like they they look in your eyes and they're full of wonder and you know hopefulness and they're just so pure. It's an incredible experience. The number one leading organization that saves children's lives around the world. They work in developing countries so um, it's everything from like get, making sure malnourishment isn't happening, food, water, sanitation, um, and medicine. Yeah so playfulness really is an important yeah. part of 
of how we live our lives and how everyone in the whole world lives their lives because yeah. it just makes you feel it makes you it's feel better joyful it's exactly. joyful right yeah. my favorite thing is that you gave me is I'm not sure what it's called but it's this little um, palette and you you put it on your cheeks and it adds sparkle oh yeah what is that what was yeah. it was it um, the highlighter yes yes highlighter. <laughs> highlighter is the secret to good skin it honestly like it makes you look glowing it's it's genius like highlighters everything so what do we have here we have um, San Tropez lip topper it was part of our skinny dip collection what's trending in makeup is sparkle Sometimes people are afraid of sparkle, not I, not I at all. I love, I just love a little sparkle. It's fun, you know, and this is a way to add a little bit. You can have your just normal makeup and just wear this on your lips plain, or you can put it over uh, a little bit of makeup. By the way, I would like to add, there are no rules with mm -hmm. makeup. You can wear anything you want, anytime you want. It's about empowering your vision and yourself. Like, so you never see anyone in think like, hmm. <laughs> oh, I see people like, hmm, but it's usually because they haven't blended well or their foundation, like their face doesn't match That's their so neck right, or right, something. Right. Those are, I don't mind, like if somebody's at the grocery store and they're full on glam, like I'm like, Go for rock it. it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. And so if you were to buy, like let's say you look in your makeup drawer and it's just a mess because you <laughs> yes. know, like you just have everything thrown yes. in there. Yes. If you were to throw every single oh, wow. thing out in your drawer and, and put five brand new pieces in, what would they be? So I'm a, I'm a foundation person. Like I think that everybody should have a great foundation. Um, five things, man. It would have to be an eyeshadow palette. That way you get lots of colors in there. <laughs> I'm cheating. That, that, that's like on your birthday when you make a wish, you're like, and, and, and. and, and. <laughs> blush, I think blush is one of the most critical pieces of makeup because it brightens your whole face. All right, so we have yeah. a foundation. A foundation and a, and a blush. And a palette for eyeshadow. Palette for eyeshadow. I know. Free. I know. You're not Eyeliner saying mascara. or mascara. Mascara. Yeah. yeah. Mascara. And a lipstick. And a lipstick. Exactly. Is your foundation? I know you're launching tonight. You're going. Yes. She's hosting a disco party. I know. <laughs> so <laughs> launch her brand new foundation. It's liquid, right? It's liquid. It's a liquid foundation. So do you think that you can just put it in your hand and go like this? Not this one. Okay. Because this one is a really mm -hmm. extremely high coverage foundation, uh -huh. which means it's gonna just whoosh, like wipe any it's kind gonna of gonna airbrush you it's airbrushing you it mm -hmm. is but it works best with a brush it just does but it doesn't it doesn't look i'm i'm nikki am i wearing it you're wearing it i'm wearing it i i mean i, I don't feel it's heavy just at all no it does it's weightless honestly it is the it's it's revolutionary it is uh -huh. the most high coverage foundation on the market and it is weightless so how did you do it like it how took did you figure years. this out it took years to develop it it really did i understand it's yeah. like you you try and then you oh my God. fail and then, and then you try and plus fail i'm all about it. skincare ingredients because at my age i have the intense joy of uh battling wrinkles and blemishes i have that Both. joy too no really <laughs> super fun super fun so <laughs> <laughs> I'm always thinking about what is this? I don't like there's no point in having a product that isn't actually doing something for your skin at the same time. So it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got allantoin, which is pre preventing breakouts. Um, it's got, you know, botanicals. I'm all like about everything good. Everything good. Yeah. It's paraben free. Um, you know, it's just, it's it's got to be good for you. Well, like, you know, we always say for, for my brand, like we look at the ingredients of the food that we eat, we really should look at the ingredients of the things we put on Absolutely. our face and the things we put on our body. Uh, yeah. So for us, yes. it's like everything good is in these jeans. I didn't know like that. Grade A quality cotton, oh, all the good yeah. stuff. It feels and like I feel, it. I feel like yours yeah. is the same. It like counts. It's every it single thing that's good yeah. is in your, in your. I do that. I'm, I'm like products. really hyper, you know, crazy about it. Yeah. So what other trends should we look for moving forward? So glitter is a thing. Okay, glitter, glitter and shimmer is a thing. Whether it's um, super foiled eyeshadows or um, highlighter, bright pop and highlighting cheeks, you know, um, glitter on the lips. Like I say, don't wear it all at once. Right. Pick your lane. Go one. Do one. You know, pick one and go with it, and that's the best way to wear it. Um, but otherwise, I think that is really the major trend right now is, is glitter. glitter. Yeah. And so if people want to go to your website, are there instructive videos on how to do that? You know, we don't really have a lot of that? video on there. Um, I mean, like, I think the greatest resource is YouTube. YouTube has, like, everything everything on there. So, well, you guys, that. she makes me feel playful always. You have the best sense of humor. I don't know if they know that. Do it's, they know that? It's a little snarky. <laughs> she has the best sense of humor. I don't know if they know that. But, yeah, you do. Anyway, thank you so much for thank sharing you for this having time me. It was with so fun. Me and with all of us, we really, it. really appreciate it. I love it. You're the best. Love you, my girl. Oh.